in this particular session we will talk about the job crafting. What is the job crafting? Job design versus the job crafting is there, examples of job crafting, other types of the workplace crafting, uh, look uh, at the job crafting model, how to start the crafting uh, uh, your job today, uh, the benefits of the job crafting, limitations to the job crafting, what role can HR play, what job the crafting needs to work properly, uh, research papers, book recommendation and references as usual. Here I would like to quote this quote by the user marketing coordination I take, I take uh, as uh, on as much event planning as I can. Even though I was not originally part of my job, I do it because I enjoy it uh, and I am good at it. Uh, I have become the go-to person for the event planning and I like my job much more because of it. So, first we will try to understand what is the job crafting. So, job crafting can be a great way by the employees to the customize their job until it uh, uh, fits them like a globe. But uh, how exactly can they do it? What role does it uh, HR play in this? That is uh, what we will take a look at uh, this session and also shares a few job crafting uh, examples and how to get the started here goes. So, job crafting refers to the individuals uh, proactively making the small changes to their jobs. If you think about your job uh, uh, like a semi tailored and uh, suit or the dress, and the basic design is there for you and you cannot change it. But what you can do is to make some changes to the size and the dimensions of it, so to make it a better, a more comfortable fit for you. As a result, when you wear it, uh, you feel better and it feels like a, a better representation of you is there. So, there are the two choices, either you become the uh, suited to your job or you change the job for as per your size. So, therefore, in that case you will find out that is the how you are making these changes uh, in the size and the dimensions uh, of the particular job. Ultimately, it is a fitness. It is a fitness between the job and your style of working and then as a result uh, what you find it that is the you are able and comfortable for doing a particular job and you uh, so why job crafting is necessary. It is necessary so that you can give your best. Here I would also like to mention that it is a job crafting in a nutshell does the same thing for your job. Uh, you are not the redesigning your complete job from the scratch, but what you are doing is taking the job you already have and making changes to it that are the improvements to you and make it a better it fit for you as an individual. By doing so, you feel better and you are the more likely to perform better and to be more engaged in what you are doing. Uh, from an organizational perspective, the job crafting enables companies to tap into the power of uh, these experiences and the strengths uh, that their employees have across the organization. Job crafting is the employee driven, it is not something that uh, uh, you tell people to do, it is uh, however something that HR leaders and the managers can nurture, encourage and enable. The power of the job crafting lies in the fact that it allows individuals to actively seek, identify and find the changes that they want to make in terms of their role. If they feel that it is a something that is being imposed on, they are unlike to feel that the element of authority and the motivation that you get from the job crafting when you are driving it to yourself are there. So, job crafting is a relatively new concept and can sometimes be confused with the job design. While both methods aim to improve the people's job for the benefit of uh, both the organization and the employees, the philosophy behind them is uh, uh, that is, uh, uh, is not exactly the same. The job design is often something that is the top down. The world design itself implies that the jobs are being designed for someone uh, by someone that is the organization. However, that there is a space for the people to co-create. In terms of the job design, what we often see is that it is either top down, the organization does it or the bottom of the employee that is the employee does it. And the thing job crafting can be the space in between the coming back to the this idea of the tailored suit. You might design the 90 percent of the role and allow 10 percent of the space for the people to uh, shape in a way that, that they reflect their uh, talents and uh, interest is there. Now, examples of the job crafting is there. The image shows the job crafting model and uh, first we will talk about that is uh, uh, the task uh, that is uh, who is doing that particular task is there and for, for doing this particular task uh, what skills are required and accordingly when, when you are having uh, that is the purpose of doing this particular task uh, uh, then uh, you are making a relationship that is the uh, 
why you are doing this particular job is there. Uh, it is also important that is uh, where is the uh, this job is to be performed and then these ultimately it will be being the uh, well of the jobs is there. Now, for example, we will take certain examples of the job crafting. The heart of this job crafting model is the why of the job crafting. The what of the job crafting about how people do it and they have five different ways are there. So, they make the changes to their task and activities. So, this can be an, a simple a block bring in the half an hour at the start of the your day to reflect on what you want to be achieve and uh, uh, that day and start on a piece of the work or a, a project that is the uh, important to you uh, rather than the dividing the straight into your tasks are there. So, answering the people uh, firefighting and the uh, losing control over your day. The relationship crafting is there it is about the how you interact with the other people which can be your colleagues, your customers or anyone you interact with the within your job. Um, here again uh, that is the crafting is about how can you simplify certain relationships, uh, how can you maybe of the reframe certain uh, relationships that can are not working for you or perhaps even how can you diminish the certain relationships. So, they develop their skills. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, by the uh, deepening them or they learning the new skills are there. So, purpose crafting is there and this can be about from you think uh, about the value and the purpose of your job or uh, to what extent you are able to show in your job the things uh, that uh, matter to you as in the individual. So, well being crafting is around the how can you make your job uh, healthier for you from a, a physical and the mental uh, perspectives. The interesting thing when the people job craft is uh, what they find that there must be unintended and consequences. Even employees can probably do equipments uh, that will make the, their jobs better in unexpected and unknown ways. So, job crafting is about uh, letting people tap into the unknown and the unseen ideas and explore them for the, their jobs are there. Regularly focusing on the job crafting, on the developing a mindset or the mental uh, habit of these always uh, looking for ways to uh, improve the job fit and then the satisfaction. Other types of crafting that can be added to the your crafting uh, toolkit uh, that includes the uh, environmental crafting. So, refers to the change uh, in where the people work uh, that is from this home, uh, in the office or the open or closed space and the aspects of the work uh, environment that is the light, plants, then the ergonomic design etcetera and that can enhance the well being and the performance is there. So, developmental crafting is refers to the efforts to the acquire more skills and the requires and to use the uh, once uh, full set of the skills regularly to improve well being and the performance is there. Other types of crafting what other aspects of your job or the workplace can uh, you identify to improve your sense of fit, uh, job satisfaction, manufacturing and the well being is there. So, when we look uh, at the job crafting model, it is to be fair, there are the more than one job crafting model. In fact, there are at least the two important frameworks that can be developed and further developed as we can learn from more about the uh, discipline as a whole. Uh, so, these are the job demands resources that is a JDR model and the job crafting model is there. Uh, first, we know that a proactive approach is an important uh, precursor for the job crafting, but what else to do we need to the boost our the chances of success. From a theoretical uh, perspective, we need to know a bit about the job demands and the resources and the job demands resources model is very useful. And the job demands resource model is uh, uh, is about the job characteristics. Uh, in short, it views uh, all the characteristics of our jobs, uh, psychological, physical, organizational, and the social aspects. Uh, is either demands uh, or the resources. Uh, the job demands requires that we put in the physical or the uh, psychological effort uh, or skills. Uh, the, the cost is the something emotional strain. And the similar or popular uh, examples of the job demands, uh, which can leader to cost uh, and the stress uh, burnout and the related uh, uh, stresses about uh, they, they become uh, extreme. 
Job resources uh, helps the um, accomplish our own work goals and we can draw on these facilitators to counter the potentially uh, respective impact of the job demands. Uh, they can be made uh, available by organizations or they can be personal. Respectively, these are the workplaces uh, resources as the personal resources. Uh, and the uh, first uh, would uh, uh, entail uh, an aspect the career pro prospect uh, training and autonomy and examples of these. Uh, the second uh, uh, include the, um, this optimization and self-efficacy. So, following the JD model we can do it is in the, uh, the two ways. Now, now, there are the demands and there are the resources are there. When the demand is low and these uh, uh, resources are low, so low strain average motivation is there. Whenever the demands are very high and resources are low, so high strain low motivation will be there. And uh, when we are having the high demands and the resources are also high, the average strain high motivation will be there. And when we are having the demands are low and the resources are high, low strain high motivation will be there. So, therefore, by uh, upping our job resources, we might use relationship crafting for instance uh, to increase our social resources. Another example is to aid our structural resources, training, autonomy, etc through task crafting and the second by increasing our job demands to a pleasantly challenging extent and think you stress are the stress zone challenges rather than the, uh, than the vanilla stress is there. The ultimate goal of the JDR model is to allow for an understanding of how demands and the resources interact to impact uh, our motivation as uh, we discuss here. To craft your job, follow these four steps, decide what you want to change. Second is evaluate how the change will impact you and your work environment. Third one is act to put the positive change in place. And the fourth one is check on the progress, adjust and continue. And let us look at the, each of these steps in the more detail. Decide what you want to change by crafting your job. So, you can make the changes in one or more of these uh, following areas to craft the way you work uh, so that uh, it uh, uh, close to your ideal job. For example, the task content. Uh, the environment uh, uh, that is uh, improving the way uh, that things are done uh, using the skills that what you already have or using the, your knowledge to, uh, to change working uh, methods uh, so that uh, you can generate uh, better results. The relationships here are you might look for the ways to have the more satisfying interactions with the other people during the course of your work is a day. In our example that this, uh, this uh, Stephen might uh, volunteer to mentor the new hires. And the purpose is you can also redefine your existing work to reflect what you see as being the real impact of what do you do at the work is there. Now, the second step is uh, that is evaluate how uh, the crafting your job will impact you and your environment. So, next you need to assess uh, the potential impact of these possible changes on your wider work environment. And here you should uh, take into the account uh, your clients, uh, your colleagues uh, and the supervisors or managers uh, and the organization is a uh, whole. Uh, now, the rem uh, here remember that the effective job crafting usually depends on uh, finding a win-win solution. For example, you have the significant experience in using your organization uh, internal accounting system. You should volunteer is that uh, to uh, train the new hires on this, uh, this particular system or provide uh, the updates on the system that is the uh, changes for your colleagues. So, what you get out this could be the, the simple uh, enjoyment uh, because uh, you enjoy uh, the fetching people things. So, or a boost to your own self esteem or more interaction with the people from other departments and what your organization gets from it, this is a better trained more effective workplace is there. The step 3 is the act to the pull the positive job crafting changes places. So, at this stage the key is to get the rid of any symptom or what psychological call that is a learned uh, helplessness. And this is a phenomenon whereby the employees have become so accustomed to the indifference to their contribution that they believe that uh, no matter what they do nothing will come of it. Uh, even my this uh, PhD, my own PhD topic was uh, locus of control and the learned helplessness as 
predictors of managerial effectiveness. So, when we are talking about this particular uh, learned helplessness, uh, then in that case the employees are not uh, uh, helpless, but they have become learned. They learn that is the, they are helpless to contribute uh, and uh, here it is the contribution what they, why they believe that they cannot do just because of the external environmental factors are there. So, you can understand the solution is there and the solution is that the job crafting gives you the chance to turn the, uh, the situation around by refocusing your job in the way you decide what is going to make you feel uh, better value and the more, more productive is there and you decide to make these uh, necessary changes. Now, here whenever you are making the your job uh, uh, what you are feeling the better and then the what you decide to make the what necessary changes are there and as a result of which the, that uh, here the decisions must have been the positive outcomes for your organization as the mentioned in the step 2 is there. In step 4, we check on your job crafting progress, adjust and the continue. So, having gone through the steps 1, 2 and 3, it is time to put uh, your job crafting uh, into these uh, practice, check that it is, it gives you what you want, ensure that your boss and clients are happy with what is going on and they make sure that is really compatible with your wider work environment. If anything checks out and uh, you will feel good about what is happening, you can let your changes become a habit. So, benefits of the job craftings are the benefit uh, the giving the you the greater enjoyment uh, from what you do at work, uh, helping you to approach your work with more energy and enthusiasm, encouraging real personal development by improving the skills. And of course, perf uh, here the perfecting the skills of the job crafting can in itself lead to a career enhancement opportunities. But the, there are the limitations of the job crafting, some informations to the job crafting uh, organizations or systems. So, changing how we view and the things can impact both the firm and the individual and let us look at the some potential down, downsides. Now, the drawbacks for the organizations are there, misaligned goals are there. So, eventually the job crafting ends to benefit uh, the employees, it is neither advantageous nor a pitfall for the company. Uh, when an employee's goals are consistent uh, with those of the, their organization, that alignment is critical in understanding how it plays out in the practice. Uh, um, uh, these are uh, meaning when individual's goal and organizational goals are um, uh, uh, misaligned, we can see that is a negative impact of the job crafting is there. In other words, if someone is employed to carry out a certain task, uh, job crafting should not be a, a means of the changing of uh, the job behind the recognitions are there. When we are talking about the unequal access, so another potential disadvantage uh, more about the how we view our jobs in the first uh, instance in order to the job crafting, we first uh, need to see our jobs are uh, uh, um, alterable and that is we uh, uh, here may feel certain factors uh, are limiting how um, that uh, we feel are to the uh, eight task or the alt alt uh, other alter relationships uh, for instance and this can vary uh, based on our roles. Senior employees felt that they were limited time wise when it came to the crafting and these uh, uh, lower level employees uh, cried uh, not enough uh, auto uh, uh, autonomy as in the equivalent challenges there. So, some workers to whose tasks were uh, closely interdependence uh, uh, have been the also was, uh, felt uh, a similar way after all that is uh, how could you they change the roles without uh, disrupting other work. In one respect uh, this can be seen as a perspective or the adaptability problem or even suggest more support for the, the, the proactive personality arguments are there. Now, for the drawback for the individual when we talk about, about the job crafting and then the for individuals it may be tempting to take this uh, uh, crafting a little further uh, understandably. So, if uh, we add on task uh, uh, that are the uh, overly demanding or give the ourselves uh, excessive task uh, while uh, we add uh, task that are the uh, making the costing our roles uh, we risk taking on the too much. So, if employees are not sufficiently uh, informed uh, about the risk of the doing so, job crafting can bring with a at the little in, uh, increased uh, uh, the dangers of overwork, uh, the stress, exhaustion, burnout uh, and uh, the unhappiness. The light of this uh, some authors argue that the managers should get more uh, uh, involved in their employees the job crafting initiatives. So, limitations to the job crafting are uh, that is a final argument against the 
approach that is the job crafting uh, leaves uh, some workers open to exploitation and this potentially can occur in the sense that it is employee might be going above and beyond the call of the duty without being the, uh, the fairly reimbursed by the organization. A study of the zoo, zoo workers uh, uh, by the Wenderson and Thompson 2009 for instance showed some crafters uh, uh, were paid less than their co-workers. And this was dis despite their investigating the extra time and the effort into their newly crafted jobs uh, in pursuit of the, the deeper meaning at work. The first question that needs answering the whether or not as an organization you want to look into the job crafting as an HR function, it is important to think about what you can do to better support a job crafting initiative and to what uh, extent you are able to let people uh, experiment and tap into their strengths and uh, talent what HRs can do. Now, here we find out that is the HR they can create the opportunities for the people to craft to a, 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 a the, 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 the thought out and the positive way. So, research has shown that whether you allow it or not, some people with the job crafting no matter what they will be simply do it uh, uh, secretly. So, they how, uh, that however would not be benefit uh, the organization, other individuals do not have the confidence and may need a, a little encouragement to craft their jobs. And this means that, that the job crafting is not something that can equally uh, be disruptive uh, across the organization. HR leaders can help uh, with the enabling uh, the job crafting conversations with the, within the organization. And this can be done through the workshops or the sessions with individual where the, you encourage them to actually think about how they can make their jobs uh, better and how their jobs can be crafted. What role can HR play? So, they can introduce the job crafting uh, conversation and the personalized uh, this uh, conversation through the check-in and the employee review discussion. So, one organization introduced a different job crafting uh, theme uh, and we quarter or the quarter uh, where they talked about the people's uh, task and the activities, where the people what they liked about uh, their jobs, uh, what they did not like. So, how much responsibilities they had in their job uh, as a scale from 1 to 10, uh, how much responsibility they ideally had uh, would like to have. So, these kinds of the initiatives are encouraging people to have these uh, uh, the uh, crafting conversation with their management uh, and uh, when we talk about the ideally and implant uh, uh, tight, then it, this means that it can become the individual, the team and the performance. So, there is a third way in the uh, which companies use the job crafting and that is around team crafting is there. So, you get the more team together and they talk about the elements of their jobs and that they are like and do not like. Perhaps there are the things that can the person allows doing the another person does not love doing and that cannot be redistributed. Uh, so, you are basically swept certain elements of the job uh, that does not mean that uh, things have to be stay uh, fit uh, this uh, particular uh, uh, this uh, forever. So, therefore, in that case uh, there is a you can do it for a month or a couple of months and uh, see it uh, it works is there. So, therefore, always we have to understand that is whatever the jobs are to be done and then the who is plan doing that job, when he is doing that job th that is to be taken into consideration. So, uh, years ago employees uh, may have done uh, well by this simply waiting for the directions from a manager and uh, then following team factories in particular uh, need uh, plenty of the workers who can do exactly what they are told following the specific uh, uh, data instructions for a prescribed result over and over again. In this market landscape, uh, though the creativity and the initiatives are generally uh, what workers need to succeed beyond just waiting for the direction to follow the best employees, make the effort to uh, see the bigger picture and they improve their work uh, uh, without waiting for the official purpose. So, what job crafting needs to work properly is uh, even the seemingly inflexible jobs can have the surprising room for change and evaluation of you get an uh, employee's place uh, who feels empowered to make the positive changes. And encouraging job crafting at your own workplace uh, requires encouraging what sense of the empowerment. So, one way to do what to be more uh, useful thing is the during the uh, this uh, the hiring process to look for the self motivated employees. So, you can try to look for the motivation by asking potential hires uh, during this uh, screening process or during the interviews about times they are the taken the initiatives to make a change or, or start something new at work. 
So, beyond hiring people who are already self motivated, managers can encourage employees to pursue their own projects at work. They can also continue to make themselves open for employees feedback and they listen to employees ideas carefully. If employees get the sense that deviation from the standard procedure that will be frowned upon and they would not have as much uh, uh, incentive you, you try any job crafting techniques. Uh, finally, it is a job of the company leaders uh, to make sure that the each employee is reminded uh, of the impact uh, that their work makes both on uh, clients and customers, users and in the community and in the world. And uh, those things make uh, it much uh, easier for the employees to focus on how their individual uh, uh, roles make a difference. This is the research paper, a state of the art overview of the job crafting research uh, and the current trends and the future research directions. In celebrations, uh, the purpose of this paper is the uh, that is the founding of the career development international a state of the art overview of the recent trends on the job crafting research was conducted. And uh, since the job crafting was introduced uh, uh, 20 uh, uh, years ago as a type of the proactive work behavior that employees engages to adjust their jobs to their need, skills and preferences. The research has evolved uh, uh, tremendously in this particular paper which shows that the theoretical and the empirical advancement of the job crafting research uh, from the perspective that is the individual team and the social is there. These particular findings uh, on the job crafting literature through these uh, uh, that may in the uh, six trends were uncovered that showed that the job crafting research has moved to a more in depth theory taking approaches broadening the scope uh, and the examine the team level job crafting and the social relationships and the job crafting to other work environments and their evaluation and the reaction to it. These uh, the overview of the recent trends within the job crafting uh, literature and with a set of recommendations for the how future research on the job crafting could progress and uh, create the scientific impact uh, for the coming years. Uh, this is the book titled The Job Crafting, Make Your Job Fulfilling and Meaningful is there. And the authors are the Neil Schultz and the Robin Schultz are there, publishers of, uh, of the nine publishing first edition and the ASI is uh, that is the BO um, X tech uh, tackled SWCH. So, therefore, in that this particular book you will find that is the uh, how we can uh, earn uh, the employees uh, by crafting of their jobs, uh, new positions more than half the US workers say that they are not uh, emotionally or cognitively connected to their work. According to the latest Gallup poll, uh, the, uh, these particular findings have been observed uh, and these, uh, uh, the unengaged 53 percent usually show up from the 8 to 5, but do the minimum required. So, job crafting is about taking tangible actions uh, uh, to reimage and redesign what do they, uh, what we do at work by the changing the task, uh, relationships and attitude while they staying in our current jobs. Uh, the main, uh, the premise is that, that we can stay in the same role and they are going more meaning out of the our jobs uh, simply by changing the what we do and the why uh, the behind it uh, during the week. Uh, many of us uh, uh, speed a large uh, uh, that portion of our working hours at work is there. These are the references which you can refer for the your further detailing and you can find out uh, that is uh, how this job crafting which is a, a emerging is a very high research area and that will help you to understand uh, the more for the employee engagement also. So, whenever you are uh, make your studying about the job crafting you please uh, see that is the goal of this job crafting is making the people very comfortable at the workplace and enhancing their uh, uh, engagement and uh, uh, the more more and more the effectiveness uh, at the workplace is there. Thank you.